seeing sayings. At Brian's birthday party, Ella Marvella did amazing tricks with rings, coins, balloons, and her pet rabbit. All the kids at the party loved her performance. At the end of her show, Ella said, thank you all for coming. I had a ball here. Liddy looked around. I wonder where she hit the ball, Liddy said to Brian. She must have made the ball disappear. That's just a saying, said Brian. She means she had a great time. Oh, said Liddy, I've never heard that saying. Ella Marvella passed around a bag of party favors. Everyone scrambled to pick a gift. Liddy was last. She picked a small box. At home, Liddy opened the box. Inside was a ticket. Three wishes granted, it said. She put the ticket on her desk. Liddy didn't think the ticket could really grant three wishes, but just to test it, she said, I wish this ticket would jump to the floor. A breeze from the window blew the ticket onto the floor. That's strange, Liddy said, but then she remembered that breezes often blew through that window. At supper, Mom asked Liddy, was Brian surprised by his birthday party? Yes, said Liddy. I guess nobody let the cat out of the bag, said Mom. Liddy frowned. Brian doesn't have a cat. Mom said, that's just a saying. When you let the cat out of the bag, you tell a secret. Oh, Liddy sighed. I just wish words would mean what they say. Liddy's sister said, Remember how we tried to give dad a surprise party last year, but Liddy spilled the beans? Just then, Liddy's hand knocked against her plate and the beans spilled onto the table. The next day, Liddy met Brian at the playground. They sat in the race cars. Brian made a noise like a car engine. Hold on to your hat. He said as he pretended to drive fast. Liddy thought that's just a saying. It means get ready. But before she knew it, Liddy had her hands on her head and she was holding on to her straw hat. She hadn't seen that hat in years. Liddy climbed to the top of the slide. Behind her, a girl said, the slide is fast. You'll be down in no time. Before she knew it, Liddy was at the bottom of the slide. I have an idea, said Liddy. I'm all ears, answered Brian. Liddy blinked hard. Brian looked strange, as if his whole head were covered with ears. What's your idea, Brian asked. Let's get some ice cream, said Liddy. Great, I have my birthday money with me, said Brian. I want to spend it. It's burning a hole in my pocket. Liddy looked at Brian's pocket. Smoke was coming out of it. Brian didn't seem to notice. As Brian and Liddy left the playground, they heard a man saying, it's hot enough to fry eggs on the sidewalk. Liddy heard a sizzling sound below her. She looked down. Three eggs were cooking sunny side up on the sidewalk. I'm seeing sayings, Liddy said to herself. How strange. Strange things continue to happen. At school, Mr. Wrigley talked about topics for research reports. Pick a topic that's not too big, Mr. Wrigley said. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Liddy's mouth filled rapidly with food. Her cheeks puffed out. She tried to chew, but couldn't. Her mouth was too full. It tasted like apples. Hmm, said Liddy to herself. We'll go to the library to find interesting topics we can really sink our teeth into, Mr. Wrigley went on. That's just a saying, Liddy tried to say, but her mouth was already chomping. Before long, her mouth was empty again. Phew, whispered Liddy. Mr. Wrigley had more advice about the research reports. Once you have a topic, collect facts. Write one fact on a card. 
Then you can put the cards in different orders. Once the card, once the cards are sorted, is everyone listening to me? Mr. Wiggly asked. I don't want my words to go in one ear and out the other. Uh-oh, another saying, Liddy said. Something darted into Liddy's left ear. It crawled inside her head, then buzzed out of her right ear. Liddy sighed and said, I wish that sayings would just be sayings. Mr. Wrigley looked at Liddy. Did you have a question, Liddy? He asked Liddy. No, Mr. Wrigley, she said. I was just thinking out loud about my report. At the library, Miss Johnson asked Liddy, do you want a book about animals? I'm up to my eyeballs in animal books. Liddy held her breath, but nothing strange happened this time. Miss Johnson said, that's just a saying. It means up to your eyeballs means that we have plenty of animal books, said Liddy. I know. That night, Liddy found the ticket from Brian's party. The ink had faded. The edges were ragged. Liddy tried to remember all the sayings she had heard that day and how they became and how they had come to her life. She wanted to write them all down in her journal. It wasn't easy. Guess I need to put on my thinking cap, she said. Okay, you guys, let me try and show you this. All right, our skill this lesson is sequence of events. That means knowing the order of events in a story can help you understand what you have read. So you're gonna think first, next, then, and last about the important events that happen in a story. Not every little thing, but important events. So take a look at this back page with somebody at home that can help you. You don't have to copy the chart or write things in it, but just try and talk about the sequence of events with Liddy.